until 2014. Hometown Kentucky had the hometown KFC right here. And it was so badly run that somehow in Kentucky, or KFC went out of business and was taken over by this cookout burgers. <laughs> Alright, so another one of our poor substitutes for KFC, this is across the strode from the Goodwill, is the Zaxby's. And of course, we don't really like Zaxby's very much at all. Alright, and a slightly better choice than the Zaxby's as our substitute is the Popeye's. As you see, we have here, so various chicken and other sorts of stuff. So, but really, you just want to do chicken. Okay, so you can see we have the impending return of KFC here in hometown Kentucky. Not quite open yet as of this filming, but it's gonna be across the street from this wonderful Hardee's. And there's a Wendy's over there. It's just a really happening part of town. They're doing work there. I'm sure this KFC is gonna make even more of traffic snarls at this particular intersection, especially in a small town when a fast food restaurant opens. Everybody has to go there. But there you go, KFC. Let, I'll show you some KFC records. Okay, and so when you've completely given up on the idea of finding chicken, then you can go to the big huge cow here. The big huge cow at the Sirloin Stockade Steakhouse and Buffet. Yes, it's one of those surviving cheap steak and salad bar places. All you can eat. See, it's pretty popular. More popular than the KFC ever was. Okay, so in the same sort of dowdy strip mall as the Sirloin Stockade, the Peddler's Mall Antique Mall that you've seen me go to, Terrapin Station, which is hometowns, um, indie record store this is where we line up for record store day and the people going to the consignment shop next door wonder why all the nerds are lining up but we're gonna go to Terrapin station to look for chicken records it's so like chicken foot legendary shack shakers Neil Young and Grateful Dead and of course the K in KSD stands for the Kentucky Vultures. So this is a band with a friend of mine named Tim who works at the university. This is on his old label Slough Water. At home I got his newer record which is on the newly renamed KYV label. And then this is a blind bought 12 inch that's also on KYV by somebody called the Old Lords. I have absolutely no idea what kind of music it is. Okay, so I'm at home, and so now we're going to get to the F in KFC. The F, of course, stands for fried. So we've got fried EM. Uh, this is a modern St. Louis-based punk band. Uh, Peace and Love is kind of about them not liking hippies. And, of course, you can see they've got, like, the stamped on the plain white label there. So... That's pretty DIY. -E. 
And of course, what else does F stand for besides fried? And we know KFC doesn't want you to think F stands for fried. KFC wants you to think that F stands for finger looking good. And of course, the Beastie Boys know all about finger looking good. The first song on side B of Check Your Head. And then, of course, we get to the C. And the C stands for Colonel. And we're not going to talk about Colonel Sanders today. We're going to talk about Colonel Abrams. And so I'm not going to let you. So this is sort of some mid-80s um, electronic, a bit housey, but not uh, a bit commercial as well. Um, I actually have a British pressing with a small hole in it. And, of course, uh, the other Colonel that we should be talking about is Colonel J.D. Wilkes from the legendary Jack Sh Shakers out of Paducah, Kentucky. This is their classic album, Cockadoodle Don't, on Hound God Records. Uh, so there you can see right there, Colonel J.D. Wilkes. He's cooler than Colonel Sanders. He's got great songs like Blood on the Bluegrass and Pine Tree Boogie and Clodhopper and that double-headed cock on the cover there. Actual best place to get fried chicken in hometown. The Food Giant, which is also part of our same dowdy strip mall in the so-so part of town with the Pepper's Mall and the Terrapin Station. <laughs> Thank you. 